Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. So the Bucks win the tip. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Sanders is out there with Russell. Then it's Jones. Then it's Jones. And it's Heinsohn in at the three slot. The Celtics on offense. Inside. And Bill Russell slams it in. And the relentless nature that is Bill Russell. Always working for the best scoring opportunity. Won't find one better than that. Now here is Von Kreef. Pass to Cummings. Cummings in the paint gets it to go. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Russell, and that comes off the assist Russell. by Jones. Russell's got his second basket. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. And here's the fast break. On the wing, Jones. Jones, the pass to Heinsohn. Back to Jones. Six to shoot. Jones drives in. It's deflected. And sometimes it just comes down to sheer size. A legit seven feet lister. Always a threat to send one back. Jones against Hodges. The pass to Pressy. It's hauled in by Bill Russell. And it's Jones with the ball for the Celtics. Jones finds Jones. Back to Jones. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Hodges against Jones. And he's going up for the alley -oop. Tries to save it. Cummings can't hit. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley -oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. Casey on the basket by Jones. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Passes to Mike. Over Jones. Good D by Jones. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. Jones against Hodges. Pass to Pressy. Just four to shoot. Here's Lister. And the shot no good, a bit short. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Pass to Pressy. The pass to Moncrief. Five on the clock. Foul. Sidney Moncrief. That's his first personal foul. 
And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Celtics to the inside. Plays it up off the glass. Russell. Russell's got six. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here is Moncrief. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Lister. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. Celtics leading by six. Jones, the pass to Heinsohn. Six on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. A shot, no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Russell kicks to Jones. Pocket six. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tries again. Rebounded by the Bucks. Here's Preston. There's the drive. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Celtics? And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy baskets. They've also made their mark in the paint. A lot of their scoring coming down low so far. And he knocks down the first one. He hits them both. And here's Jones. Pass to Heinsohn. Just his first attempt. Offensive rebound. Russell. It's blocked. And they get it back. Sanders against Cummings. Goes up again. Here's Preston. Here's Moncrief. Sidney Moncrief working hard in the paint. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Outside, Jones. Kicks it to Jones. Fires from the wing. Leaps for it. And it's Moncrief with the rebound. to Cummings. Over Sanders. Cummings can't hit. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Heinz in the pass to Jones. Trying to get something going, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. The Celtics shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Shooting for Boston. Tom Sanders. Two shots. First one falls. Mokeski's checked in for Lister. Boston also with the sub. Havlicek, he's checked in for Heinsohn. Sanders hits them both. Here is Hodges. He's still scoreless so far in this one. 
Pass to Moncrief. Now the pass to Pressy. Here's McKeskey. Shot clock at six. Now here's coming. Those three pointers off the mark. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pavlicek against Hodges. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Bucks with possession here. Bucks trail by four. Not gonna go. Excellent D that time from Jones. Bucks foul. Greg Hodges. And the Bucks with some changes. Personal foul. Brewer is checked in for Cummings. Pierce comes in for Moncrief. So and Dudley subbed in for Hodges. And then for Boston. Thompson comes in for Sanders. And Siegfried subbed in for Jones. Pressy against Havlicek. And the seven-foot McKeskey clears the glass. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. And Boston with the rebound. Russell's got rebound number five here tonight. And the layup is good. And the Celtics lead by six. And with the pace of today's game, transition defense is at a premium. I don't think anyone was catching him on that play. That is unbelievable. Here's Dunleavy. Passes it to McKesson. Here's Preston. Six to shoot. Here's finds Brewer over Thompson. And it's off the back rim. No good. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Count it. And now an eight-point Boston lead. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Pressy. The Bucks working the ball around. Down low, here's Dunleavy. Off to a good start as he gets his first shot attempt. That pass is about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. On the wing, Havlicek. Tries it from nine. Milwaukee with the rebound. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Brewer. And it's Brewer finishing it off. He is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Outside, Jones. He feeds it to Russell. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got four assists in the game. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Here's Dunleavy. Goes up on the wing. Goes back up. Nice D from Russell. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Six-point lead. Russell in position. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Dunleavy. He dishes it to Bruce. And that one, good. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. The Bucs have gone two for two in the game at the line. Austin making a switch here. Counts checked in. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Bucs, Randy Brewer. At the line for one.
Boston leading by five. On the wing, Hamplechek. The 10 footer. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Now here's Pierce. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Davis with the bucket. How about the time? It could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Applejack outside. Feeds it to Russell. And Phil Russell slams it in. Hey, remember, Applejack was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. Dunleavy dishes to Davis. 36 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Creepy passes to Brewer, and it's sent back by Russell. And, and guys, this is where instincts come into play. So much you have to read defensively. Russell not fooled at all. Twenty-four seconds left in the first. Havlicek against Pierce. Havlicek with it. Five to shoot. From 17 feet out. And he overshot that one, missing. And so the first quarter is in the books. Celtics lead by five. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats one what we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. Celtics leading by five on the court for the Celtics. They've got counts. Siegfried is out there with Jones. Then there's Havlicek, and it's Russell in at the five spot. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Now Dunleavy. Pass to Pierce from outside the arc. Rebounded by the Celtics. And here's Havlicek. He takes it in, and Havlicek throws it down. And guys, Havlicek in a nutshell. Just constant motion, unparalleled stamina. This guy will wear you out. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Havlicek. On the pass to Pierce. That three off the mark. Havlicek against Pierce. And it's good for two. And now it's an 11 point Celtic lead. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Outside, Davis. It's Pierce on the wing. Six on the shot clock. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. They get it again. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. So the Bucks are making a change here. Lister's checked in. Boston also with the sub. Heinzen's checked in. Second quarter. We're a little over a minute and a half in. Passes it to Siegfried. Havlicek outside. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal, shooting at a four of nine clip. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Dunleavy. Drives to the hoop. It's blocked. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. 
Siegfried, no good. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Havlicek against Pierce. Now Dunleavy, shot to stop the run. Rebound by Counts. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Applejack outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. His second personal foul. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role. He just wants to win. This is his first free throw of the game. That's good from Applecheck. A different look for Milwaukee. Cummings, he's checked in for Davis. Moncrief comes in for Pierce. And Hodges subbed in for Mike Dunleavy. And then for Boston. Sanders checked in for Siegfried. And Jones subbed in for Jones. Both free throws good from Applecheck. Timeout called the box. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Bucks trail by 15. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Pass to Hodges. Here's Greedy. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Greedy's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Pass to Heinsohn. Now here's Jones. Applecheck outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Sanders. The seven-footer Lister is there for the rebound. On offense, here are the Bucks. A 12-point game. The pass to Greedy. Back to Moncrief. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Havlicek, steps back and trains the jump shot. Havlicek's got 10 points in the quarter. And guys, you gotta know who you're guarding. You gotta run the shooter off that sweet spot. And for Havlicek, that's anything in the mid-range area. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Into the lane, it falls through, making him six for 11 in the game. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. On grief up top, defended by Jones. Let's it go from 11. Here's Lister. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Here's Heinsohn. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Havlicek outside. Creedy with the rebound. Bucks trail by 14. Passes it to Mike. Pass to Cummings. Over Sanders. Here's Lister. And finish off by Lister. The offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback. You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. Here's Heinsohn. Following the bucket by the Bucks. Kept alive. Havlicek. And Havlicek throws it down. 
That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Jones, the pass to Sanders. To the middle. And there's Havlicek. That's good on the assist from Sanders. Havlicek's got 18 points. He's been a marksman this period. Uh, their shot mechanics finally in sync. Jones against Moncrief. Pass to Grevy. Here's Lister. He has six. To the paint. Here's Moncrief. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Sam Jones. Yeah, and consistency is the name of the game for Moncrief. Anytime you play him, you're in for a night of all-around basketball. Milwaukee shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Shooting two. That's good for Moncrief. Trezzi's checked in for Milwaukee. Thompson, he's checked in for Boston. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Celtics leading by 14. Havlicek, the pass to Heinsohn. Back to Havlicek. Thompson right side. Havlicek outside. No good with the elbow jumper. And there's the pass to Pressy. On creep up top. Good D by Thompson. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Um, basket, good. I'll tell you, he's having his way right now in the second period. Forget the first quarter. Let's get to work. Here's Moncrief after the main shot from John Havlicek. Down low, here's Lister. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Lister's got six points in the quarter. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Passes to Heinsohn. Outside, Jones. Pass to Heinsohn. And Thompson kicks to Havlicek. And it's Heinsohn missing. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Havlicek, the pass to Heinsohn. And Jones now is out the key. Pass to Heinsohn. And here's Havlicek. The two drop. A shot off that time. Bucks trail by 12. Here is Hodges. No points in the game yet for him. A shot missing. Good D by Sanders. Tressy's gone one of four from the field. Here's Heinsohn. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Celtics four. Kokeski's checked in for Lister and then for Boston. Russell, he's checked in for Heinsohn and Jones subbed in for Havlicek. <laughs> On defense, the Bucks down by 12. Grief against Jones. 
Now here is Moncrief. He's tightly guarded. Inside. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And the basket by Jones. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. The pass to Cummings. Over Thompson. With that, Russell now up to 10 rebounds. Austin leading by 14. Here's Jones. And it's Moncrief with the rebound. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Here's Hodges. Dishes it to Cummings. And the layup's good off the glass. And they're just doomed if they keep letting them post up like that. You've got to deny the position to afford them no opportunity at making that entry pass into the post. Now here's Sanders. Outside, Jones. Rebounded by the Bucks. Here's Preston. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Sanders passes to Jones. An easy two points on the way. Jones has got six. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now here is Von Creek. Shot clock at six. And stolen by Russell. And Moncrief picking him up with the textbook defensive crouch. Sanders passes to Thompson. Jones kicks to Sanders. 26 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside, Jones. Three-pointer on the way. Cummings grabs the board. Pressy against Sanders. Pressy passes to McKesson. From downtown, Anzo is the Boston Celtics with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their transition game has been in full effect. We'll return shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, any of the Jet Smith. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. At one point, they were ahead by eight points. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? The difference in this point is staggering. Their second unit came to play tonight. They were aggressive. You got to figure the starters are loving it, seeing how much work their second unit is getting done. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the room, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of deal I love to face. I've had at least 30 by now. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been one outstanding game from John Havlicek. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Boston. We've got Hodges. Pressy is out there with Cummings. Then there's Lister, and it's Moncrief in at the shooting guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Bucks trail by 14. Here's Pressy. Tipped away. 
to the inside. He kicks it to Moncrief. On deep. Pressy's shot is off. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. And it's Russell missing. On offense, here are the Bucks. Here's Moncrief. Rebounded by the Celtics. And Jones has it in the corner. Down low. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Well, an 0-3 start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. And he recovers it. And Hodges kicks to Moncrief. To the middle. Here's Cummings. Up again, and three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in hey, their first five attempts. Well, their first basket in four tries. Can that trigger a little bit of good shooting here? We'll find out. Now here is Moncrief. To the paint, Dressy passes to Hodges. On grief against Russell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Sidney Moncrief taking two shots. That one is off. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And he sinks the second. Celtics leading by 15. Jones looking for an opening. And that one, good. AC Jones. Jones has got four this quarter. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. And the jam hey. by Terry Cummings. Hey. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Here's Heinsohn. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Inside, Russell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his third wow. Foul. wow, he got whacked First on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Celtics shoot their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And the Bucks making a change here. Dunleavy's checked in. He's off on the second. Bucks trail by 16. Here's Moncrief. <laughs> And that one comes up a bit short. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Here's Jones. A rebound by the Bucks. Now here is Moncrief. He has five. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Moncrief's got seven. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Celtics passing it around. 
Jones kicks to Jones. Oh, Russell in position. Oh, up high to stop the alley -oop. He pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley -oop. Jones against Moncrief. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Davis has checked in for the Bucks. Pierce comes in for Mike. And the Celtics also making a change. Siegfried checked in for Jones. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Here's Siegfried. No points in the game yet for him. With the teardrop, the rebound by the Bucks. Lister's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pressy passes to Dunleavy. Pass to Pressy. Rejection by Sanders. Here's Heinsohn. He's guarded by Davis. Pass to Russell. Jones with it. Eight points for him. And Russell gets it to go. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well well their transition game has been operating at full speed too they've really run the break well timeout called the bucks you know couldn't agree more with this timeout there are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm you're just trying to mix things up here austin making some changes counts has checked in for sanders and it's havlicek in for heinsen havlicek against pressy now dunleavy Kicks it to Pressy. Pass to Grevy. Shot clock at five. Here's Pierce. And Jones pulls it down. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. The kick out to Havlicek. Back to Jones. Russell against Pressy, and it's Russell missing. There's the pass to Dunleavy. Passes it to Grevy. Here's Lister. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Celtics leading by 18. Down low. Shoots it. And Russell gets it to go. Russell's got seven points for the quarter. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. That's depressing. Puts up a three. A rebound by the Celtics. Russell's. Here's Siegfried. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Counts. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Well, great decision to kick it out. Trust that your teammate will knock down the shot. Now Dunleavy to the inside. Here's Lister. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Here's Siegfried. Pierce covering. The rebound by Lister. Lister's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pierce against Russell. Pierce attacking, and it's sent back by Russell. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Malkowski's checked in for the Bucks. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Cummings is checked in for Lister. Hey, 
So it's the Bucks now. Creevy passes to McKesson. The shot's good. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint. And make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. Jones, the best to counts. And yes, it's good. Counts has got four this quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Here's Grevy. Outside Pierce. Six to shoot. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Grevy. Hits the front of the rim and out. Austin leading by 22. Apple check outside. Here's Russell. Count the basket. Russell. Russell's got 23 points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Dunleavy. Pass to Pierce. Cummings up on top. Softly drops in the floor. Cummings got eight. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floor. Siegfried, the pass to Jones. To the middle. And the slam dunk by Russell. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Here's Dunleavy. Here's McKesson. Nice D from Russell. Applejack outside. And there's the bucket from Siegfried. Siegfried's got his first bucket in this one. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. Now Dunleavy. Gets up a three. Trains it from beyond the arc. He has five. And this is what he does. Stretch the floor with deep range. You have to close out hard on Dunleavy. Here's Havlicek. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Slow rotation there defensively, and he gets a wide open look from mid range. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a just match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. And the Bucks making a change here. Hodges checked in. Thompson, he's checked in for the Celtics. Jones comes in for Jones. Siegfried, the pass to Havlicek. Russell kicks to Havlicek. Shot, high post. That one off the back iron and out. 137 left in the third. Hodges, the pass to Pierce. No good with the triple. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. The pass to McKesson. He can't get that one. Now Boston takes it the other way. To the paint, here's Russell, and Phil Russell slams it in. He just bangs down the one-hand. Mm, two very easy points right here. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Unhindered, going all the way. And Havlicek throws it down. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. Here is Hodges. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Okeski. It's hauled in by Bill Russell. Russell's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. And there's the drive. 
And there's the bucket from Siegfried. Siegfried's got four points in the quarter. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Here's Creevy. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Boston Celtics leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Siegfried is out there with Havlicek. Then it's Russell. Then it's Thompson. And it's Heinsohn in at the three. Here's Mokeski. Misses off the right iron. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Havlicek outside. Throws it up high, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first And really, for the value of Hodges to this offense, he creates the floor spacing with his range. Craig Hodges at the line for two. Two shots. Free throw good, Hodges. And both free throws good for Hodges. Here's Siegfried. Out to the right wing. Here's Heinsohn. Thompson passes to Siegfried. Celtics passing it around. Just five on the clock. Out to the right wing. Jones for three. And Davis pulls it down. And it's Davis with the ball for the Bucks. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Here's Gravy. Outside, Davis passes it to Gravy. Over Ward. Brewer trying to free himself. Rebounded by the Celtics. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Siegfried can't hit that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Pass to Hodges. Nice yet again. Mokeski, good. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now here's Jones. From 11 feet away, Thompson misses. Hodges against Thompson. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Mokeski, banked in off the glass. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And Boston has possession. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. Pass to Siegfried. 
Here's Ward. They could use a bucket. Freebie with the rebound. Freebie's got four rebounds in this game. Here he goes. Hodges, that's good. Hodges has got four points now in the quarter. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. Now here is Davis. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. The dish to Brewer. Davis, the pass to Greedy. Rebound, Boston. Heinzen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Plays it up and banks it in. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Here is Hodges. Here's Brewer. Hits the jump hook. That's their third straight make off an assist. Austin leading by 23. Outside, Jones. The pass to Thompson. Over Davis. Milwaukee with the rebound. Brewer's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Davis looking for an opening. Misses from short range. Here's Boston now. Here's Siegfried. And the dunk to finish it off. A uh, beauty. And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. Passes it to Grievy. Pass to Hodges. Here's McKeskey. He's covered by Thompson. Driving to the basket. Shots good by Grievy. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. Pass to Ward. Here's Thompson. It's rebounded by Mokeski. Mokeski's got five rebounds tonight. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Celtics leading by 23. Here's Ward. And there's the feed to Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, great. He can get up a few notches higher. Here is Hodges. Now the pass to Grevy. Bounce pass, Davis. Here's Brewer. The rebound by the Celtics. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Siegfried. And the shot is long. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here is Hodges. Passes it to Grevy. With the fadeaway. That shot off the mark. Greeby's gone two for seven from the field. Here's Jones. Pass to Heinsohn. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I'll tell you what. Heinsohn is a competitor. But for me, where, where he really gets you is with his body control and then that superb shooting touch. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Brown comes in for Hodges. The Celtics also changing it up. Counts comes in for Thompson. And Smith's subbed in for Siegfried. And so he makes both from the line. 
And here is Brown. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. To the inside. Brewer. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Outside, Jones. Pass to Counts. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Dunleavy. Rebounded by Ward. Dunleavy's gone two of seven from the floor here. Here's Ward. And there's the pass to Jones. Four on the shot clock. Here's Heinsohn. Fires from deep. And the three ball is good. Heinsohn's got five points now this quarter. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. The Celtics working the ball around now. Passes to Counts. Shakes him. Brewer with the rebound. Brewer's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Dunleavy dishes to Brown. Got a piece of it. Smith with it. Picked up by Brown. Smith against Brown. Smith the pass to Ward. Here's Counts. Here's Heinsohn. They shoot again. No good there. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Smith against Brown on the wing Brewer. Brown feeling it out a bit. It's Davis on the wing. Pass to Dunleavy. From deep three-point range. A rebound by Counts. Counts has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Smith. To the middle. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Milwaukee making a switch here. Fields checked in, and the Celtics also making a change. Thompson's checked in. Here's Ward. Smith outside. Clock at six. Two minutes remaining in the game. Jones Two kicks minutes. to Smith. Here's Ward. It's hauled in by Brown. We've got 148 left in the fourth. And the pass to McKesson. Over Ward. And Boston with the rebound. Now here is Smith. Pass to Counts. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough catch here. Dunleavy up top, looking to get it going. Rebounded by Ward, and it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Celtics. 104 left in the fourth quarter of this one. It's Jones on the wing. Smith inside. He's covered by Brown. Nice shot by Smith. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside. Get a high percentage look. Fields against Jones. Shoots from 12. Headshot off. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Pass to Ward. Back to Jones. Counts, passes to Smith. 
Here's Counts. Pass to Ward. From past the arc, Brewer grabs the board. Now Dunleavy. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.